The last couple of videos, we have been testing different AI tools for content creation, like ChatGPT, Midjourney, Stable Video Diffusion, Wonder, and many more. And one simple conclusion from working with all these tools is that the capabilities are incredible. Sure, they are flawed. There are mistakes and artifacts in images. But remember that the first steam operated machine at the start of the industrial revolution was not perfect as well. So let's see if this tool can fix some of the common problems that we encounter while creating images. My plan is to test Magnific.ai. They describe their service as an AI upscaler and enhancer. Today, we're testing if a new AI tool can fix some of the issues with the output from another AI tool. Welcome back to Success is Made. If you've been following this channel, you know that we're all about empowering you with the best tools and strategies to grow your online business. So if you're excited about leveraging the latest technology and video content, to enhance your own business, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more content like this. So let's put it to the test. If you open the tool for the first time, to me as a simple consumer, this indicates, or at least this signals that I can test the tool before actually uh, signing up or paying for a subscription. It doesn't say it literally, but that is what I make out of this message here, upscale an image. If you then click on upscale an image, you immediately go to the page where you can select or have to select one of the three subscription tiers. The only thing that you can do before signing up and paying for a subscription is looking at these images of before and after. So this is the original image. It's a bit blurry, it's a bit vague, and then upscaling it and you can see that there's more texture to the leaves. There's even holes in the leaves. There are some more examples here. Here is an actual photograph or at least photorealistic image of a woman. You see that the upscaled image has a lot more detail and looks lifelike. More details before and after. Pretty amazing if you look at the detail of the hair and the detail in the skin. This girl before and after. Before looks very plasticky and fake, like the skin looks too perfect. And after you see that there's a lot more detail to her hair and the face looks a lot more natural. Here's a very large image. This is the original image which looks a bit blurry or very much blurry and the Magnific.ai tool turns it into this. So this looks really impressive. Another example, before, a bit blurry and upscaled. This is what you see. There's a lot more detail to the flowers. It certainly does not look photorealistic. It still looks animated. It's, I know it's a very small detail, but look at the wood here. And after the upscaling, it looks like this. So there's a lot more texture and a lot more detail to that wood. This is the final one, a blurry rainforest kind of image. And look what the tool did to this. So normally what you do is you test drive the tool. You test the tool before you actually buy it to see if the results are the same as what the images indicate. Because anyone can create very nice example images because you can pre-render these and you can't test it before signing up. You never know if the actual result is even close to what they are simulating here. If it works like this, it is pretty amazing. So what I did is I signed up Right now, the pro plan costs $39 per month. The premium plan costs $99 per month. And the business plan is a whopping $300 per month. When you sign up for a subscription, you get two months for free if you pay one full year in advance. The feeling you will have is like having a magic wand. Magnific will transform any image of your choice into a higher resolution version adding as much, much detail as you wish. And I get a refund. Unfortunately, we cannot offer refunds due to cost. How do I cancel my subscription? You can cancel your subscription at any time. So I'll test it. I just signed up for a subscription, $39 per month. If I don't like it, I will unsubscribe. And if I do like it, I will keep using it. So the upcoming weeks, months, I will put it to the test. First, let's create some images in Midjourney. An incredible image of a scary looking incoming storm above a deserted tropical island. I like all of them, but I specifically like this one because it has this small wooden cabin over here. So I've upscaled that one and here is the result. This is what the image looks like. Very nice image. You see there are some rocks over here. There's some old wood over here. There's not a lot of detail in the waves 
there are some birds that look very fake and there is a shed or a cabin over here. Also, not a lot of detail in the sky. So we're uploading that in Magnific.ai to see what it does. We select it, an upscale of two times the original image. We select it optimized for films and photography. The other ones are standard, portraits, art and illustrations, video game assets, nature and landscapes, film and photography, 3D renders, and then science fiction and horror. Right now we selected films and photography. Creativity set at zero. Resemblance set at zero, and I'll show you what that means. Creativity means allows the AI to hallucinate additional details, achieving greater realism at the cost of moving further away from the original image. Here's where Magnific's magic shines, but be careful, really high values can lead to some pretty strange results. I have a great example of that later. The other one, resemblance. It's an advanced setting. Increasing this value will make the generation more closely resemble the original image, but very high values can lead, result in blotches and a dirtier look. Lower values give more freedom to the generation at the cost of moving further away from the original image. We set it at zero. HDR is also set at zero. So the setting that I selected for this render looks like this, everything set to zero. Then here is the render before, and this is what it looks like after Magnific AI worked on it. There's a bit more detail in the clouds here. There's more detail in the wooden cabin, a bit more contrast as well. The bird still looks very low detail. And in general, I'm not really that impressed with this image. So I tried it again. And this time I selected two times upscale, again, films and photography. Then creativity set at eight, like this. Resemblance set at zero and HDR, which I didn't reach yet, increases definition and detail, though very high values can result in images with an artificial appearance or blotches. So I ran it through the tool. It took about two minutes and here is the result. The original image and now with more creativity, eight, it looks like this and look at the waves, for instance, and look at the sky. There's a lot more detail to the sky, to these waves. There's more detail and contrast in the trees over here. This is more blurry. This is very sharp. You can now distinguish between different elements in the background. The bird over here is still very low detail, but it removed this one. I think that is because Magnific.ai thinks it is an artifact, which it, which it is. Look at the detail here, original one, upscaled one. So very impressive stuff. The next step was moving creativity up even more to plus 10. Resemblance to minus three, HDR set at zero, still film and photography, and the upscale is times two. And this is the result. Before, and with even more creativity, Look at the sky over here. All this detail that has now been added by AI and the detail here. The palm trees, there is a scary storm approaching indeed. So in the original image, this is what it looked like. It's just black, pitch black. And here you see the storm approaching. You see that the water looks more realistic and somehow the cabin here has been removed by AI. So here's a cabin that's completely gone. And it looks like there is a mini storm here in the forest. So that is a clear artifact. So this is not, this is not okay. It replaced the cabin with a mini storm. Another detail here in the trees, you see there's a lot more detail in the Magnific AI image. Then I created another image, a different image. And in this case, I was interested to see what it would do with a face. These are the four images I created. A beautiful, very stylish looking Californian girl at the boulevard next to the beach. This one is interesting, but for now I selected this one because I like the lighting in this image. So I upscaled number four, as you can see here. Here's the result. The lens of the sunglasses looks a bit fake and her face looks very plasticky. And you see that a lot with Mid Journey. I think in a year from now, this will already be solved in Mid Journey. 
and the other image generation AI tools. But right now I'm curious to see if Magnific can fix that plasticky fake look. I upscaled this times two and this is now the detail. There is already quite a lot of detail in the print on her shirt, but let's see what Magnific does with these colors. There is also a lot of detail here in her hair, but I think Magnific can even do a better job there. And perhaps in the background, it is able to add more detail there as well. I've uploaded this in Magnific. Now I selected the option portraits, creativity set at plus three, HDR at zero and resemblance at minus three. So it has a little bit more freedom in generating something different. And Magnific AI made this out of it. You can clearly see that there's more detail here. So the gray color from this part of the shirt is now also visible. Here you see that there's more detail in the lens. So her eye behind the lens is better, is more visible. Same with this lens, there is more detail in her hair. Although it was already quite detailed, there is more detail there. The background is exactly the same. So I ran it again and creativity plus 10, HDR set at zero and resemblance at minus six. Be careful. Really high values can lead to some pretty strange results. And this is the result before, and it changed it into some kind of weird collage. And I can't even show the left side here because the video platform won't allow me. It didn't just take a little bit of creative liberty, but it completely changed the image. There's people in this collage, in this image that do not even exist in the original render. You can clearly see that there's something wrong here. So this looks nightmarish, I would say. Clearly don't like this outcome. What I then did is I uploaded the image again. And this time I selected an upscale times two standard instead of portrait, upscaled significantly, a lot more detail, resemblance set at zero, and I ran it again. First of all, there's a new face here that was not in the original image. This I think is a car or something and they changed it into a face. There's a lot more detail and color and vibrance here. Original one. And look at this, very impressive. But then we get some disturbing images. Look at this. Her eye is very well visible, so I like that. But look at her face. The original image was all about a beautiful, very stylish looking Californian girl. Well, it is. She clearly had a little bit of work done or too much of work done. Look at the detail here, which is scary. Look at her chin. The overall image looks really scary. So this is not the look that I was looking for, but what is impressive is the detail on her shirt, for instance. Look at this flower, these flowers over here. This is the original image. And the texture of that fabric is also impressive. Then I generated a new image, beautiful lush, grassy landscape with many colorful flowers surrounded by wildlife, birds, some horses, three children playing in, on the hillside. Very high detail, high realism. I didn't take this one because there are no people in this image. So I ran it again. Two children playing on a beautiful lush and green hillside surrounded by many colorful flowers. Very easy prompt. And this is what it came up with. I like all of them, but I upscaled this one, number three. And this is what it looks like. So there's very low detail in the kids here. There seems to be a small boy and his older brother. You see a small village here and here. You see a mountain here, could also be a volcano or something. Detail in the flowers is also very low. In mid journey, you can now upscale times four, but I didn't do that because I want Magnific to do the heavy lifting here. What I did is I set the value at films and photography. Creativity was set at nine. HDR at plus three. So that means that there's a bit more detail than in the original image. Resemblance minus one. And here's the result. Look at the detail in the colors here. and look at the detail in these two boys. There is a very clear castle here and another castle here, or a very small town. Lots of detail in these flowers. This just looks beautiful. And I now see that there's also someone standing over here. I now understand what the capabilities of these, this tool are and why this is so expensive. For instance, I could use these images in ads and in social posts for my fashion brand, for instance. I tried it again. Films and photography, creativity at nine, HDR at three, resemblance minus one. This is the result. And creativity is set at nine. So you see more artifacts and weird stuff going on here. So there's something floating here. I don't know really what it is. Additional kids here, two sitting in the tree. 
and two standing beside it. Those kits were not in the original image. There is something off here. So um, it renders part of the landscape in the clouds. I tried it again and asked for a very bright blue sky, hoping that the weird stuff here would disappear. And this is the result. It extended the hillside in the air and you see that this is very much off. So this is not correct. There's also some additional people here. So creativity set at 10 is not the option I would re recommend. It's the third time that I do this and the results are strange. Then I tried another mid journey image, this one. So upscaled it times two, uploaded it in Magnific. This is the original image. So the before image, creativity set at eight, HDR at three, resemblance minus two, films and photography. Before, after. Look at the detail here in the hair of this boy. Look at the sky here. Look at the detail on this flower. And there are some things here in the sky that should not be here. Here's some kids. Here's a Superman kid. Here is a patch of land that is flying in the air like a magic carpet. Creativity set at three, HDR set at two, and resemblance at zero. And this is the result. Original image, after image. So you see that with creativity set back to three, a lot of the weird stuff that was in the sky here is now gone. There's still something here, some artifacts here, but it looks a lot better. The next mid journey image is this. I think it's a girl. Uploaded it in Magnific. And here we go. Films and photography. And what Magnific made out of this is this. Look at the detail on the backpack here. Look at the view and the detail in the background. This is very blurry, very vague. There's not a lot of detail here. And after the upscale by Magnific, this is what you see. Beautiful. I do see what the capabilities of this, this tool are and the fact that you can use this professionally. You can use this for your social accounts. You can use this for product images for your online store. You, you can use this for model work when you have an online business. You can use this for your thumbnails if you are on YouTube. A tool like this for the next two years will be invaluable because it makes up for the imperfections of the other AI tools. So Midjourney, Dali, uh, Wonder, all these AI tools that still have a lot of artifacts and low res textures and other stuff that just clearly looks off can be fixed with a tool like this. So I do like it. In the upcoming weeks, I will use this a lot more. So do I recommend this tool? The results look promising and I like how simple it is to use. I will be using it more often in the future and put it to the test. But one thing that sticks out like a sore thumb is the fact that there's no trial offer whatsoever. So regardless of the excuses behind this decision, and it is based on cost, I cannot imagine that a company like this can grow to its full potential without any trial offer. So tell me, who's willing to pay at least $40 per month, especially that important first month, without knowing if it even works? I will keep you updated in the next couple of weeks and months while I use it. For now, I would say, hold on until they are big enough or wise enough to offer a free trial. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more content like this. It really helps. Keep pushing your limits and I'll see you in the next video.